हेलो वेलकम टू द सेल्फ लर्निंग पॉडकास्ट बाय डॉक्टर सुषमा सिंह लेट अस स्टार्ट डिस्कशन ऑन चैप्टर फाइव चेंज एंड डेवलपमेंट इन इंडस्ट्रियल सोसाइटी विच वाज द लास्ट फिल्म यू सॉ वी आर श्योर यू कैन टेल अस द नेम ऑफ द हीरो एंड हीरोइंस बट यू कैन you remember the name of the sound and light technician the makeup artists or the dance choreographers some people like the carpenters who make the sets are not even mentioned in the credits yet without all these people the film could not be made bollywood may be a place of dreams for you and me but for many it is their place of work like any an industry the workers there are parts of unions for instance the dancers stunt artists and the extras are all part of a junior artist association whose demands include 8 hours shift proper wages and safe working conditions the products of this industry are advertised and marketed through film distributors and cinema hall owners or through shops in the form of music cassettes and videos and the people who work in this industry as in any other live in the same city but depending on who they are and how much they earn they do very different things in that city film stars and textile mill owners live in places like juhu while extras and textile workers may live in places like gheregaon some go to five star hotels and eat japanese sushi and some eat vada pav from the local hand craft the residents of bombay are divided by where they live what they eat and how much their clothes cost but they are also united by certain common things that a city provides they watch the same films and cricket matches they suffer from the same air pollution and they all have aspirations for their children to do well how and where people work and what kind of jobs they have in an important part of who they are in this chapter we will see how changes in technology or the kind of work that is available has changed social relations in india on the other hand social institutions like caste kinship networks gender and reason also influence the way that work is organized or the way in which products are marketed this is a major area of research for sociologist for instance why do we find more women in certain jobs like nursing or teaching than in other sectors like engineering is this just a coincidence or is it because society thinks that women are suited for caring and nurturing work as against jobs which are seen as tough and masculine yet nursing is physically much harder work than designing a bridge if more women move into engineering how will that affect the profession ask yourself why some coffee advertisement in india display two cups on the package 
whereas in America they show one cup. The answer is that for many Indians, drinking coffee is not an individual wake-up activity, but an occasion to socialize with others. Sociologists are interested in the questions of who produces what, who works where, who sells to whom and how. These are not individual choices, but outcomes of social patterns. In turn, the choices that people make influences how society works. Now let us move to the next point, images of industrial society. Many of the great workers of sociology were written at a time when industrialization was new and machinery was assuming great importance. Thinkers like Karl Marx, Max Weber and Emil Durkheim associated a number of social features with industry, such as urbanization, the loss of face-to-face -face relationships that were found in rural areas where people worked on their own farms or for a landlord they knew, and their substitution by anonymous professional relationships in modern factories and workplaces. Industrialization involves a detailed division of labor. People often do not see the end result of their work because they are producing only one small part of a product. The work is often repetitive and exhausting, yet even this is better than having no work at all, that is being unemployed. Marx called this situation alienation when people do not enjoy work and see it as something they have to do only in order to survive, and even they survive depends on whether the technology has room for any human labor. Industrialization leads to greater equality, at least in some spheres. For example, caste distinctions do not match matter any more on trains, buses, or in cyber cafes. On the other hand, older forms of discrimination may persist even in new factory or workplace settings. And even as social inequalities are reducing, economic or income inequalities is growing in the world. Often, social inequality and income inequality overlap. For example, in domination of upper caste men in well-paying professionals like medicine, law, and journalism. Women often get paid less than men for similar work. While the early sociologists saw industrialization as both positive and negative by the mid-20th century. Under the influence of modernization theory, industrialization came to be seen as inevitable and positive. Modernization theory argues that the societies are at different stages on the road to modernization but they are all heading in the same direction. Modern society for these theorists is represented by the West. Now let us wind up the session and thank you very much for engaging yourself with the self-learning podcast.